Last time on Project Porsche, I inserted my gasoline filler tube. And built a nice wood holder for my transmission that fits on the top of my jack. And started pulling the seals out of the transmission. Welcome to Project Porsche, the modding and rebuilding and fixing up of my 924S. So far, so good. Just have to tighten these clamps now. Yeah, I just decided to use some new clamps there. And I used some old ones too, but just took the time to get all those tight. It was between this stuff and uh, some Permatex stuff. It says it's resistant to gas, so I'm gonna try using it on this seal. This one had a picture of a gas can on the front of the bottle. I think that's why I got this one. Wanted to make sure I had a clean surface here, so I scraped away anything that was left on the top there, any residue, wiped it free with a cloth. And then what I ended up doing was I applied sealant to both sides of that rubber gasket there. I can see the marks from the casting in this thing, so I'm gonna put it exactly back where it was. Actually, I think what I'm gonna do is make a mark on this. put a, a nice layer of the clear sealant on the top of the tank there. There's another layer on the other side between the gasket and the aluminum top of the uh, fuel level sensor. So it might make it difficult to remove this in the future, but it should be difficult, but not impossible. It bothers me that these things are a little loose. That's why I put silicone on this one. Decided to slather some hot glue on there. I figured why not let that cool and kind of form a cap. So moving on to the transmission, uh, now I'm gonna replace these seals. So I have to take these hubs out or axle stubs out. Went on the old jungle Amazon time and got me, me got me, well, focus. 17 millimeter Allen key. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Clean it out with a screwdriver, old broken screwdriver. Oh, yeah just like downtown, baby. I'm gonna stick my finger in the top one first and see if I can feel anything. Well, it's not dry, but it definitely ain't full. It's like uh, giving someone a wet willy. Definitely some metal shavings in there. Better yet, you ever get a wet willy? I'm gonna clean the threads off of this, these, and stick it back in there. <laughs> you don't want a wet willy, believe me. Yeah, those are not good. Do not want the wet willy. So yeah, I, I always clean around there uh, so that when you pull it out, some dirt doesn't fall back inside the transmission or whatever it is you're replacing the seal on. And then yeah, I just cleaned up that axle stub there. Here's a shot of one of the seals that I used. And here's a part number for you if anybody needs it. I used that roll of white electrical tape to uh, pound in my seals. This one has a nice lip on the inside so you know where it's supposed to stop. The other side, there's no lip inside there to uh, for the seal to seat against. I guess you're probably supposed to measure. Yeah, that, that tape worked pretty good. Good enough, anyway. I'd like to get one of those sets of fittings that are for pressing in bearings, wheel bearings, races, and seals someday. And usually I wear gloves, but I don't only have one left. I'd also like to get a hydraulic press. All right, so here I'm just taking a little extra line off of this hose here before I mount it onto the hard line end there. And I guess the clippers didn't work, so I'm using a knife. Yep. And then once I get it on there, tightening up the, a band clamp. That does it for connecting the gas lines on the top of the tank. I just got a text. Buzz needs a ride. Shout out to Buzz. What's up, Buzz? Yeah, I gave you a ride home that day. So I'm gonna run to the uh, auto parts store. I have bolts for the exhaust, but I'm gonna look and see if they've got some stainless ones that I could use instead. And then the other thing is I need to find a bolt for this coupler that joins the transmission to the drive shaft, a torque tube. Yeah, the threads on this bolt are screwed up. Uh, somebody must have tried taking this apart or putting it back together and they screwed up a bolt because they didn't have this coupler in the right spot. There's actually the relief uh, machined into the shaft on both ends, and so you have to have this coupler right in the right spot. Once you have it in the right spot, 
the bolts will pass through because there's a spot machined in the shaft for it. I'm just gonna have to replace the bolt. Replace the bolt again. Yay! Not yay. So, six dollar bolt that has to be modified. Ooh, five bucks for a bolt. I'm gonna grind the sides of this off and I'm gonna use my new bench grinder to do it. Unboxing new stuff is fun. This is an inexpensive bench grinder that I actually got as a gift, but I have to say it is a really good gift. And I'm sure it'll be used here and there quite a bit. It's kind of crazy I've gone so long without one, to be honest. Always used a handheld angle grinder. So once I was done, this new bolt was actually way closer in dimensions to the actual Porsche bolt than the aftermarket bolt that was in there. And you can see it works pretty slick, just like stock. Fits right in there nicely in that beveled edge. And you can still get a socket on it too. Kind of looks like an ARP head bolt or something. So I'm bringing in my handmade transmission holder slash aluminum racing Harbor Freight Jack. And this turned out to work pretty slick. Here I'm just cleaning up these mounts with a brush before I put them on. Figured might as well. Put a little grease on the fittings. Uh, someday I'm gonna go back and put a, a short shifter on here, but for now I'm just putting this stuff back together. It really isn't, even though it's up there on top of the trans, someday it, it's not that difficult to get to, and since I've had this apart now, I kinda know what I'm doing, so. I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember what this is off the top of the head. I don't know if this is 80, 90, or one, one something or other. It's thick, I had it under the bench. It turned out to be just enough, and it's not old, it's new. They didn't, whoever worked on the trans last, pulled this rubber back and then they never replaced it or pulled it back over that bolt that has the safety wire through it. And it has this, a couple of big tears in it, so. 47771115 B. M. B M, as in bowel movement. Yeah, so there's a couple of big rips in this, but again, like I'm doing the amazing super glue fix trick here. I'm gonna speed it up. Just to show you, you do have to be patient and let this stuff dry. Uh, check out that sweet blood blaster on my finger. Uh, anyway, yeah, and then here's another one that kind of decided I'd, this one was going to be a little sloppier. But so here again, I just held it still. And this thing actually held together. And not only did it hold together, but I'm able to pull it back onto that bolt. I'm looking at this now, I'm like, I should've just put a slot in it so that tab was really easy to push down instead of cutting the whole knob off. But uh, I just decided to do that and reuse that tube and someday if I want to replace it because it has that crack in it, I can. Or, but I just decided to reuse it with that cut in it so it was really easy to pull in and out again. So here I'm just putting on the shifter stuff. There's a boot I glued. And here we go, using my handmade transmission jack. Well, not handmade. Well, yeah, handmade, but hand-built slash half factory built. Transaxle jack. Actually, it's much easier with this setup than the two jacks. I would imagine it would be a way bigger pain in the butt if you didn't have something like this. It worked pretty good. Like, I was able to put this in by myself. It really wasn't stressful at all. It's just, again, you gotta take your time, but once you get it in the right spot, I do have to give one to the Porsche engineers. I mean, they do make it able to work on a car. All right, that worked really good. Now I'm just gonna put those bolts in, one on either side, and then uh, I'll work on bolting the transmission up. Once I bolted these mounts to the cross member there, now I could worry about getting the rest of the bolts in the trans. I'm not gonna totally tighten it, I just wanna be able to take the weight off, the, take the jacket. And I looked up all the torque specs. Oh yeah, lower, lower that baby down. Look at that, noise, noise. So the bolts are, are just a combination of 17, 18, and 19 millimeter, 19 for these big nut, and then the Allen key. All right, so, uh, and, it's just a matter of putting these bolts in where they go and kind of put them all in snug and then go around and tighten them all up once more in the end in a fitting order just take your time and 
follow torque specs and everything will be good. And do it in the right order. Okay, and now then putting on this coupler. Put a wrench on the front of the crankshaft and do it like this. That's the way, uh -huh, uh -huh. I like it. Oh yeah, look at that. Custom craftsmanship. 80 newton meters. That's the torque spec, in case you were wondering. Probably weren't, but in case you were. Oh, feel the click. I have to switch to my 13 millimeter because I used a uh, different bolt. <laughs> there it is. Thanks for watching this section of the show, guys. We'll be back next time <laughs> for more Project Porsche. This is pretty much the worst video I ever made. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Uh-huh, uh-huh.